born. I'm not going to say the word starting with P because I don't feel like getting demonetized today. But born has changed and will continue to change a whole generation's life. Young men, young teenagers, even women, even kids as little as 10 years old are getting affected by this. And it's only getting worse by the day with the upcoming rise of TikTok, with the upcoming rise of social media, it is only getting worse. And you've probably seen it. At least back in the day you had to pay for this shit. Now it's accessible anywhere you go. You can literally access hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, even 100,000, yeah, 100,000 websites filled with people banging it out on the internet. Free, takes 10 seconds. Download Google onto your phone, type it up, you're done. You can literally watch it anywhere you go. And that's the problem. Born is a drug. It's addicting. Just because it's on a physical drug doesn't mean it's not really a drug. It may not be a drug in sense, but it changes and rewires your brain. So it might as well be, be considered as a drug. When you watch Born, your perspective on women is, di is different. The perspective on yourself is different. Uh, bedroom experience is different. Relationships are different. And that's a big part of life. Your whole perspective on the opposite gender and your own gender has changed. For men, yeah, you might be seeking nothing but pleasure in a relationship. Nothing but pleasure. And if you're seeking that, how's that relationship going to go? For women nowadays, they think that the high value woman is the one that can impress a man. In a sense, yes, that is the case, but can impress a man with these and this in a pleasurable way. It doesn't really give any value to the man. Just think about that. You, you, you know what I mean. Yeah, women's, women are starting OnlyFans every single day of the week. Look, you can't blame them for it. They're taking advantage of the opportunity that men and the world around us have given them. You, you can't blame them for it. So men, we need to step up. The younger generation, young adults, we need to step up. Yeah, this world needs our fucking help. This may be the first time you're seeing me, so if it is... Hit that subscribe button because I'm helping you live your best life with more mental health stuff like this because this is a mental health epidemic going on right now with the access to these websites on the internet. So hit that red subscribe button if you don't want to fall behind. But let's get back into it. For the people out there who have a born addiction and have been stopping, have been trying to stop for a long time and hasn't, haven't succeeded, you know how hard it is. It's very difficult. Very. And that's why I consider it a drug. And a very harmful drug at that. It's not just an addiction that wastes your time. As I said, it changes your perspective on yourself. Your perspective on women. Yeah, and on yourself. You know, like, inside, you know that you shouldn't be watching it. Inside, you know that it is a guilty act. You know you're a low-value human being when you watch that. And especially when you ejaculate to that. You know you are being a low value human being. You know that. You might be saying, oh, it's normal, but that's just to cover it up. That's just to cover up your guilt. It's normal, everybody does it. That's to cover up your guilty act. You know it's low value. Yeah, you know inside of you that you get no women. And the only way you can enjoy that pleasurable activity is by doing it by yourself. I needed to tell you that. You know, I needed to tell you that. The only reason that you do it is because your life isn't fun enough in a good way. Your life isn't enjoyable enough. So the only enjoyable part of your life is that two second pleasure you get from ejaculating. Because again, that, that feeling you get from watching Born is a very good feeling, yes. But it's the number one source of instant gratification. And instant gratification does not get you really anywhere in life. Nowhere. Yeah, young adults, teenagers, as I said, even as little as 10 years old are getting addicted to instant gratification. Yeah, you see them, they wake up, they may go outside for a little bit, they may go to school, 
They may go to school and then they come home, sit on the PlayStation for the rest of the day, maybe jerk off two or three times, and that's the end. No action, no planning, no goals, nothing. That is the instant gratification world. I know some of you may disagree with me on this one, but I feel like instant gratification is the main cause of depression. I may not be right with that because I'm no psychologist and I'm not gonna say I'm right, but I feel like it is. And born is at the center of that. So Jack, you're explaining all of this, but how do I stop? Okay, I'm not gonna tell you cold showers. I'm not gonna tell you journaling. I'm not gonna tell you do push-ups when you get an urge. I'm going to tell you to find out why you do it. If you do it to escape, let's say the stress of school, the stress of work, what is that stress? What is causing that stress? It might be because you have toxic friends. That might be the root cause of it. And maybe if you eliminate those toxic friends and try and find a better friend group or start working on yourself and your own mental health, maybe your porn addiction will go away. Fuck it, there you go YouTube, I said the word, demonetize me, I don't really care. Well, I do, but anyways, that may be the root cause of it. It may be. You must find why you do it. It may be because your life is that boring The only exciting part of the day you look forward to is that two seconds of pleasure. Is looking at that half, I was about to say half naked woman, naked woman on the internet. You must identify that. And for the people, because the majority of the time people have a porn addiction because their life is not interesting enough. They don't get enough sexual activity in their life. Because sexual activity is a very pleasurable thing. I'm a virgin. I've never had sex in my life. That doesn't bother me. I'm only 16 years old, but I know how good ejaculation feels. Everybody does. Nearly everybody does. But off topic, you need to make your day-to-day life, your morning to night, more interesting than watching those dirty websites. Yeah, your life must be that good or on the way to make it good that you don't even have time and you don't even think about watching those websites because you know how harmful it can be. Let's say... You started building new habits into your life. Let's say right now, you don't do anything with your life. You get up at 8 a.m., you go to school, you come home, the lifestyle I described before. You come home, you play video games, you eat Doritos, and you go to bed. That's it. Maybe we start waking up at 6 a.m., we start journaling, we start meditating. You've probably heard of all these self-improvement gurus say these habits are really good for you. They are. They can be the life-changing thing in someone's life. Yeah, if you, even if you just meditate, even if you just observe your thoughts for 10 minutes a day, that could change your life forever because now you have witnessed the feeling of delayed gratification. You may work out for 10 minutes. You may exercise for 10 minutes. You may go for a walk. You may go for a run. Now you have witnessed how that makes you feel. Me, I can personally say to myself, I am addicted to improving, me, to improve my life. I could not go two days without exercising. I could not go two days without a cold shower. I could not do, could go two days without creating content. I am addicted to the feeling it gives me. I could go years on years on years. I have, I've gone two years without watching porn because I'm addicted, now addicted, to delayed gratification, to escape this matrix. You need to turn your life into, do, to, into a delayed gratification machine. I'm not saying to never eat junk food again. Of course, some sort of pleasurable and instant gratification activity is good for you to an extent. But your main goal, especially as a young person, because I know a lot of young people watch my videos because I'm young myself. Try and turn your life, try and be addicted to delayed gratification. And I guarantee you, your physical health, your mental health, your spiritual health, even your financial health will improve. But with that being said, if I were to sum up the video in one sentence, it would be this. The sooner you surround yourself, your life with delayed gratification, the better your life will be. That is the way you are going to quit watching Born. Replace it with a reasonably enjoyable 
delayed gratification activity. And the more you fail, the more you learn, because you will fail, you will. You may relapse on a 500 day streak, whatever, it may happen. But as long as you are learning from every single failure, you will succeed. And the more you want to succeed, the better you will succeed. Simple. Watch that a minute of me talking again, please. I want you to hear that again. Rewind it, watch it again. It's very important of what I just said there. With that being said, that is the video. Maybe this video wasn't enough for you. That's okay. I have now launched one-on-one coaching for people who are interested. Some people are interested and maybe these videos are enough. That's completely fine. But for the people who do want to take that step, I can be that person for you. I can guide you. I can give you the right guidance and we can improve your life. We can improve your mental health together. So let's go. Let's schedule a call down below. Completely free. But of course, if you do decide to work with me further from this call, it will be paid. So if you are serious, Let's talk down below. Let's chat. Let's have a good discussion on how we can improve your life. But again, with that being said, that's the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.